Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my sister's house. I am your host, Summer Rain, and I have my lovely co-host, my sister, Touche. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? This is a new week, and I am feeling so refreshed right now. <laughs> right. I look refreshed. Yes. How y'all doing out there? Girl, I was about to ask Hope you. Hope everybody's doing today. good. How you doing, Summer? I want to try something different today. So uh, we did this last month at my cousin's at my cousin's dinner. So like you know, every month we have a cousin dinner. So we do we did our our highs our highs and our lows for the day, which she called them wows and pals pals and wows. So the pow is the bad thing, and the wow is the good thing that you had today right. so let's do our pals and wows for today okay so that's part of our introduction our pals and our wows today it is i just maybe we can start doing this but i definitely was feeling it today <laughs> <laughs> I okay wait, so i can't wait to talk about my pals and wows today you want to start <laughs> with yours first. uh uh, uh, uh. no ma'am you go first mm -mm. why oh uh, well my wow is always waking up every morning i'm like thank you god thank you Glory. thank you i was in your number but um mm -mm. to go along with the rest of my day i had a great day um with my granddaughter i'm just with my family down here in florida um have a new granddaughter and had a birth. my daughter birth for uh, 7.7 uh little girl little chunky bonk yesterday so uh yeah um those are my wows my pals um i really don't have too many pals my pals are uh, really for me is uh keeping my health in 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 check um getting off of all of these uh diabetical medications and keeping these numbers leveled and uh, my my health in A1, that's my pals, you know. I'm right. I'm trying to stay here a little a little longer. Like my doctor said, I done knocked 20 years off my life by having this uh this disease. It's really a disease once you develop it, you know. So that's my pal. That's my that's my daily struggle of my pal. But my wow, you know, you know, I keep a smile on my face though. Let's get yours. <laughs> uh, so uh my wow. Y'all, I love my job. Yeah, I just, I always think like when I when I come home, whether it's back to the hotel or I just actually come physically back home, I always just be like, I. It's very rare that I have a bad day. So I think I've been today marks a year because I got my email, my one year anniversary that I've been on my job. Yay! That's one of my wow. Well okay. Um, so out of this whole entire year. I can say that I've only had maybe one bad day that really affect me outside of work. Like once I got off and was like, man, you know, it was just a really rough day. And that was because my supervisor had really got on my skin <laughs> that day. And he don't know me. Like, I love my team. I love my job. Um, my that's my pal is, you know, that one bad day, which was like last year. Um uh, another pal is um, ending uh, ending a I don't I don't want to call it a relationship I don't know what to call it but I ended a ten year sexual relationship with somebody uh, we ended it and it was um, it was something <laughs> it was something. So, and it was with a male, because I know y'all be like, which one is, the girl's still there. She ain't been around no 10 years. She's still, she just got here a few months ago. So, um, but yeah, so that was my pal. Like, I'm still reflecting on those things and trying to deal with that. I'm all right, though, y'all. Um, my wow is the fact that I noticed my growth from that situation. Like, I posted on my page, um, I'm usually like, I'm ready to be like a whole bag of slut. Like I am like, cause that is my vice is to sex is my vice. Like I don't have to drink. I don't have to 
do any type of drugs. Like that's not something that I, sex is my vice. That's my go-to thing. Like when I'm stressed, having a bad day, like I automatically, it's just like, let's get some action in, whether it's with somebody else or with myself. Um, my other wow is I like today was a good day. Y'all like I did get some frustration out from that situation. I got to destroy some stuff at work and that'd be like the highlight of my day when I can break some sh some shiggity. <laughs> When I can break some stuff and destroy some stuff and tear some stuff down, I feel like I felt so good. Like I felt so good when I got off work today. I felt good at work too. Like it was just, it was just bomb. Like today was just a wild day. <laughs> so um, today we are talking about how to self care. Right. Care. Which is, I mean, self-love, self-care, it all goes hand in hand. I know we talked about self-love uh, the week before last. It all goes hand in hand, self-love, self-care. Um, so let's see. The benefits of relaxing. There are many benefits to keeping your brain and body relaxed. Relaxation balances out the negative mental and physical effects of stress that we all experience every day. Children who are encouraged to take up relaxing behaviors tend to be better focused and have an easier time learning than children who are more stressed. They may also be more cooperative and experience fewer social and behavioral issues in school. So if your children are bad, maybe you need to decompress and less stress. Maybe something in the household is stressing them. Like People think that kids don't know nothing. Kids aren't affected by things, but kids are very much so affected by their environment. Like they are a product of their environment. So if they living in a household where it's a lot of screaming, cussing, fighting, they carry that with them. They carry that stress with them. And in turn, it comes out as um, ADHD, ADD, you know, uh, can't, can't keep still, stuff like that. Like I noticed that when I was working in daycare, like a lot of the kids that had those issues, uh, it's because their household was going through some stuff. Um, so <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to because I want to add something to that Go because ahead. It's, a lot of, it's a lot of toxicity from because you know stress comes especially for children who acts out and people always want to blame children with uh, behavioral issues. It's because mama is stressed out. And having issues because daddy got problems and mama's trying to bring it in, reel it in with daddy, or daddy has issues, and it's just it's just so much piling on top of it. So when the baby got issues and you're trying to di diagnose the baby, don't beat your baby. Sometimes you gotta look inside yourself first. Daddy needs to look. Sometimes men won't go in and do it, and women won't do it either. But you gotta check yourself. You got to do checks before you wrap I don't have, I don't have a mirror. Yeah, I don't see the mirror, but the mirror is over here. My and mirror I, said it in plenty, I, I know you got it right there. <laughs> I, I've said it on plenty of shows. And one of my exercises I always do, and I did it with my, well, I did it with my son um, because my daughters were gone in, in college and I went through my divorce. My son was 13. And one of my, and I did, I started with him when I started doing uh, coaching and different things and just, a lot of different stuff I started going through. Um, but I started the, the exercises with him. The things that you go through, you look in the mirror, you say it to that person. If you can say it to anybody else, starting with lies and deceits and stuff like that. If you can't say it, if you can't face yourself and say those things and go through the motions that you're going through, you surely, you surely can't go out there and say it to other people because you can. You can't say it to yourself. How can you say it to other people? So therefore, when it, in the household, you, it starts at home. Everything starts at home. It doesn't how the kids talk, how the kids act. It starts at home. So mama and daddy got to check themselves. Daddy out here drinking, cheating, doing all kind, doing everything. Mama stressing out, doing a. It starts at home. How the kids is, and it, it's just how. I'm sorry. I just, you know, me. But all this go, it plays together. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to start somewhere and starting with self care. You know, and we're going to hit with the next show the same thing. 
you melt the, your mental health it has a lot to play with it yeah. so you can't take care of yourself how are you going to be able to take care of the others right so i mean like everybody got to pull it together and get it together amen okay. sister all right excuse me <laughs> All right, so some of the positive <laughs> effects of relaxation, the ability to think more clearly and to make better decisions. Um, yeah, that's a big one for me because when I'm stressed, I'm one of those impulsive people. So I can't, y'all, we've been- it, It's like really, come back. Being transparent, <laughs> being transparent. As usual, y'all know I'm an open book. I'm going to tell y'all what I go through, how I feel, what it is. So I'm one of those people that I feel like it's weird, but it's just me. So I is what it is. So when I'm stressed about stuff, like I have sexual impulses, not unhealthy sexual impulses, of course not. But I automatically like if I'm stressed, then it's just like I got to I got to hunch something. Like I got the hunt, I like I got a release. So I will like go through my whole Rolodex and see who it is that's available, and you know. So you you're the ones like a guy. Excuse me, I don't mean to say it like that because you. But I'm a girl. I know you're a girl, but I know you hate for me to say. But like, hi guys, do you get the the what you doing text? Hey, big head. How you doing? Hey, stranger. No, I don't that kind of text? No. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm just straight to the point. I'm straight to the point. I'm horny. Can I have some? Like, I'm straight to the point. I'm... You nasty. <laughs> There's no need to do that. We're going to cut the small talk out. We're definitely going to cut the small talk out. And, you know, sometimes I'll be like, I'm stressed and I need to, you know. You need, need to release. So, yeah, you don't want nothing. So when you call them, you stressed out. That's how you do your sexual care. That's what you say. That's your that's your sexual care. So you don't care. want nothing else from you. For me, is that sex is self care for me. Sex mm. is a release for me. Like that's a stress reliever for me. Like, and if I can't, like, if nobody's available. So at this point in time in my life, stress. Of course, I want to. But it's gotten to the point where I'm old enough to say, you know what? Yeah, I can get stressed. I can get stressed. I can be stressed and I can go out and have sex with anybody that I want to. But I don't want to go out and just have like multiple partners no more. Like I want to have that one set partner that I can, you know, do my thug thizzle with. And then, you know, when it's when we part our ways, we part our ways. Like, I mean, if we cool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We cool. But so you want that that partner that's the arrangement. I know we talked about this several yes, pros, um, but it always boils down to this. Everything's all, if y'all ever went through all our topics, everything always boils back to one. Just like this show is wrapping into the next show. So, but everything, y'all yeah, think I'm lying. This is all show topics, all things just wrapped just pages on pages. But everything wraps into, it, it just comes back to fold. You know, it's just, consistency transparency that and that's why i'm so open and honest because i don't want anybody to get the wrong press impression y'all i've been through so much bs because people don't um don't open up they don't they're not honest you know what i'm saying so it's just like and they get me feelings once you get to that point so it's just like if i can if i can not if i can break the cycle I feel mm -hmm. like that. If I can break the cycle of that from me and allow myself to be transparent enough to say, hey, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I want. Are you willing to roll with it or are you not? Like, cool. Like, that's one less person whose feelings I've hurt or one less issue that I have to have with somebody because I was open and honest and I'm saying this is what it is and you accepted it. So... That's part, it's always going to be part of my self-care, but um, I got it under control now, y'all. I used to be so impulsive with it. Like, I remember I was at work at one point in time. I would be at work at my desk masturbating. Like, it was so bad. Like, and I don't even know how I didn't get caught, but I was just, it was bad. What are you about to say? I'm not looking at you strange. Are you judging me? 
I'm not. <laughs> that looked like a because your whole every. No, <laughs> not at all. I'm not judging you at all. My sex drive used to be so high like that, too. Being married, my sex drive, my, I was never set. I was never satisfied in my marriage. My sex drive was whoo, through the roof. It's just. No one talks about the climb. Like everybody talks about, oh, when you hit your 40s, you'll be in your sexual peak. And so I'm looking forward to 40. I'm I'm 35. I'll be 36. Are 40. you kidding me? Yes, I'll be 36. No, 30. you're not. I'm looking forward to 40 because the older I get, the more gushy I get. So yes. No, you're not. No, no, you're not. <laughs> hey, no, Omar. <laughs> I, hey, Omar. And then another thing too, I'm like once I turn 30, once I turn 30, I stop giving a rat's tail. You know what I'm saying? Well, it, it, I just was like, you know what? F it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. So no. I know when I get to my 40s, I'm going to be like, hey, F it. What I'm, what I'm going to tell you, okay? What I'm going to tell you, you're still going to be high. I'm, I'm high. <laughs> and when I told y'all on the previous shows, I'm not sexually active, but if I become sexually active, when you become, that's what I just said. You said if, like you ain't, you don't oh. ever be able to <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. Let me rephrase that again. When I become sexually active, because I am seeing someone, but when I become sexually active, um, y'all heard that, right? What? She's seeing somebody. <laughs> She's so stupid. <laughs> but anyway, so when that does happen, it 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 just like it was it would be Pandora's box. Okay, Omar. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, he always be on here on some nonsense, y'all. Omar said the key is under the mat. I can't. I cannot. Woo, but, anyway. <laughs> but anyway, so um uh good lord. Um it's like Pandora's box. And I'm so serious about that thrusting and not all what's in my mind, all what I've always wanted, what if that the spot because it's not that's just like versions. When you're a virgin and you haven't had sex until marriage and all that kind of stuff, it's not knowing what the package you're getting. Hold on, I went all the way off subject, and we're gonna get right back. No, being a virgin. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I'm trying to get at is, is the package. You know how everybody says you don't know what the package is, you don't know what you're getting. Like you asked me, you the girth, is this width, is the length, did you touch it? Nah, so wait. What it is, is what it is. If it's going to get it, because if you enter a person, the person is going to know how to work what they got. I've been with a statue of David. Remember that. I've been with one too. <laughs> an old one at that. <laughs> work what they got. They work what they got. I got, I, three them, so I got three children out of that statue of David. So therefore, what I'm saying is, you got to have, you got to care for the person. You got to know what they that's not the reason why I wasn't satisfied. My sex drive is high. I never had an orgasm. I didn't. I didn't learn how to have an orgasm until after I was married. Like after your divorce was over, or after during... my divorce was over. Girl, I had an orgasm at like sixteen. I read the Cosmopolitan magazine, and it told me oh, how to find my G spot. And I went in my room with that damn magazine and read. Word, what is the magazine? Cosmopolitan. A book? It's a magazine. I know. I'm talking about the book, the magazine. Yes, I read the Cosmo. It told me where my G spot was. I went in my room, 16 years old, went in my room, stuck my two fingers up in there, found my G spot, and see. <laughs> <laughs> you, I can't. You know how I feel about that part stuff. No, ma'am. So let's get back into the. Uh, <laughs> okay. We're going back. Where we left off? Because we can talk. We can go off subject and talk about 
But we talk, it's relaxation. It's a part of relaxation. It is. It's, it's part of relaxation. This really is for women and for men. That is part of relaxation. It really is. But, um, you know, it's however you please yourself. I don't please myself that way. I get built up and I wait. Hey, it's been three years. You know, I tried. Chelsea. I was in a relationship where he didn't like for me to do that. So sometimes I would hold off and wait. Mm -hmm. and it's not, it depends on how bad it was for me. Like, no there, y'all, there is a such thing called Lady Blue Balls. Like, there is Blue uh -huh. Balls for women. Lady oh, for women, balls. yeah. Yes. So I experienced that. And when I get there, it's just like, you know what? I have to just feed the beast because if not, I'm going to be around here uncomfortable. Like I imagine it's, I imagine it, it, it's painful for me. Well, it's not painful. It's just uncomfortable. It ain't painful, but the uncomfortableness of it is. You just cross your legs. Pre it's present. It's you just not cross that your easy. legs and let it just pulsate. That's it's it. It's not that easy. I don't understand because the men have a bigger muscle. That's the bigger muscle you have to. And I wish a man would come up. Y'all could call. There's the number right there. Y'all could really tell us how y'all work. Okay, so like I know I, when I had late blue, um, like I would experience cramping. I would have throbbing down there. Like the throbbing would be so bad, like it would be uncomfortable. Sometimes it would be hurt. I would it would be so swole and I ain't get no action, and it's just like. We gotta do something about this. It's not. It's not. I really I'm think it's something. <laughs> I really think something wrong with you because I don't. I don't know. Maybe because I'm older. I don't know. But I didn't go through no, that I'm back then. Either. My ex husband was deployed a lot, and I didn't go through that much problems. Okay. I mean, stay with the mindset. Truly, the mindset is you stay busy. Yes, yeah, she was. But yeah, the mindset well, is, you, know, you really y'all stuff swell up too. It's blood flow down there. It's a lot of blood flow going down there, and ain't nothing coming back. So yeah. But the mind, truly, the mindset is you're supposed to stay busy. I was busy. I That's was why busy. I do a lot of things. I have community. I work. I used to work two jobs. I had my kids. I had all kind of sporting events. I'll go help. I'll be in the church events. I would. My mind stayed so busy, I didn't have any thought of doing anything else unless he had a video call. Do you have to keep your mind occupied? That's what I'm saying. You have to keep your mind occupied. If you don't keep your mind occupied, of course, you're going to stay. Ma'am, do you realize my job all day? I'm by myself. Like I'm I'm working in an area and I'm by myself, so I have nothing but my mind racing. I, I don't mind I, I don't mind is a devil's playground. And, and I know it is my heard, and I know you heard that before. So therefore, you have to stay busy. You have to do something. I'm just not I'm a horn to chick. That's what I know. And I ain't trying to hear it. Evangelist uh Touche is trying to preach today. I'm not hearing it. Okay. I'm not because you know, I don't do that. Let's move on. Let's see the positive effects of self-care. Okay. The, relaxation. the power to better resist future stressors. Um, a more positive outlook on life and your experiences. A healthier body with slower breathing rates, more relaxed muscles, and reduced blood pressure. Uh, reduced risk of heart attack, autoimmune disease, mental health disorders, and other stress-related illnesses. Yes. So, in which those I have improved, you have improved. Yeah, my master tremendously. Have you not? That's how you stay looking youthful too. Growth. You have to Girl, not just not you. just growth, like what I've been by self-care. How do y'all think these women that is looking 50, 60, and 70 looking 30? They're not stressing about nothing. They're taking care of themselves. And they're not, I mean, come on now. <laughs> now, you got somebody the same age looking like they 90. 
or somebody younger than 10 years younger than you looking like they're 20 years older than you. I just exactly something's looking way older than me. And I'm like, dang. I'm going to tell you, I, and I ain't going to say it no more. I got somebody that I've been with 22 years. You know who I'm talking about. 22 years and same age. Look they look old. way older than me. Yeah, he look old. Way, way older than me. They look like they're about 30 years older than I am. 30 years older than I am. I wouldn't go that far. They look hurt. He look old. He look old. <laughs> he's not great. He looks stressed. He okay, looks let's move on. <laughs> easy ways to relax. <laughs> The easy ways to relax. Okay, when it comes to relaxation strategies, the easier, the better. Right. If you can find five minutes of your day for yourself, you can easily slip into simple relaxation strategy, strategies. Here are some easy ways to relax. Breathe it out. When somebody's stuff. getting on your nerves. Who's that? Bring it down. Breathe it out. That breathe out, you inhale in that negative, exhale in that negative, and let it go. Let right. it go, let it go, so you mm. don't beat somebody up. Uh, mm. release, release physical tension. When we feel mentally stressed, we often feel physically stressed. Y'all, this is a big one for me, because when I am stressed, I feel it in my neck, my shoulders. Like, I go to the chiropractor, well, I ain't been in a while, and I know he probably cussing. But like he, I'm now. I'm so t I be so tense. I hold all my stress up here in my shoulders, I get, literally. And me too. Neck. And I get knots, like yep. sh a lot of knots, like right up in here, that right all up in here. Yep. So if I can get, hey Terry, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> but yeah, that stress, that release of tension. Find walk, sit outside. I don't just I don't know. Just I, I, you would think about releasing your tension. Find the best way. Sit in a tub. Do something. Sit in a dang old tub. Nah, I'm right. Y'all, I'm gonna give me a house one day, and I'm gonna get a tub built in my house that fit me because I'm five nine, five eleven. I'm, I'm about to say you're not five there. nine. I'm you. five eleven, so I want a tub where I can stretch my legs out and fit in the whole tub and still be covered by the water, and I ain't got to you know ball up and no. Fetal position. Uh, <laughs> next, right? She's so now, wrong. This one that's good for me. I got a, <laughs> I got a notebook. That I got notebooks all over my apartment. I got notebooks everywhere where I just write my thoughts. Um, I got a notebook where I just like I pray. Like I literally, it's like my dear God journal, and I just dear God, and then I just start writing and talking to Him, and everything that I'm feeling at that moment, I just put it on the paper in Jesus' name, Amen. I, I sign off. Yes, you know ma'am. I got my prayer requests. You know what I'm saying? If somebody asks me to pray for them, I pray for them right then and there. But then I write my prayers out for them too as well. So, um, make a list. Making a list is about what you're grateful for, and um, what you can help someone feel grateful and relax about. I keep moving. Uh, visualize your calm. Ooh. That's a big one. Have you ever what? heard the expression, find your happy place? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm just saying, yes. Oh. Because I visualize. I, visualize. <laughs> <laughs> I had a question. Like, yes. Class is in session. <laughs> I, I visualize sitting in the, some type of water place. If I can't get there, I just visualize like, yes, Lord, I'm right there in front of the water. I don't care what what is it a lake, is it the ocean? I don't care what it is. That goes a creek. Connect to nature. Yeah, I'm a oh, I'm a nature. Y'all, so I have a rain app on my phone that I play when I go to bed at night, and I can play anything from rain, thunderstorms, ocean sounds, uh, fire crackling. Um, I, if you want to hear the city, like you can hear city noise, like. Rain falling on a window on a tin roof, like any type of noise. Oh, that's country right there. Nature, but, okay. like related, you can hear it. And like I'm always, most of the time, nine times out of ten, I'm listening to water. So like uh, I have a turtle too. So like when I turn his um, filter on, I can hear the water trickling. So that's really relaxing for me. 
Um, I know my mom, when she stayed here with me, when she came to visit, she could not sleep with that water on. So I had to unplug it. And so <laughs> I would have to go in my room and close my door and turn my water, my rain app on my phone. Cause I sleep like a baby when I put that app on. Um, even like it's for me. So like I pray because I like, sometimes I have nightmares and sometimes I have, um, what is it called? Uh, sleep uh um paralysis oh okay so usually when i have sleep paralysis it's some you know what i'm just gonna say it some people believe in demons some people don't but it's usually a demon a demonic presence that is the reason why i have my sleep paralysis and i don't know what it's there for and i don't see it because i never open my eyes but i can sense it so i know like um I be y'all, that's why I be praying all the time. And I got my oil, I got oil everywhere. Um, so oh I turn my when I turn my water app on, like they don't they don't bother me. So um it's been a minute. It's been since last year, last yeah, like mid last year, I know um I was struggling with a lot of uh sleep paralysis. Like it don't even matter what time of day it is, it can be I took a nap one time. Um, and had sleep paralysis. I was on my trip to Florida for my birthday last year and I had sleep paralysis like a few times on my trip and it was just like so stressful. I was a brat, like it just it was it was all bad. That was it was just all bad. <laughs> it was all bad. Let but, me um, off the subject real quick. Just like is that one of the things like where you don't move? Yep. Well, you, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of freaking me. Yeah, okay. I had one of those events before. I didn't even know the name of it, so I just needed to make sure that's what it was. Yeah. When you're so deep and something is going on and you cannot move, it's like you're paralyzed. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, just wanted to make sure I knew what that was. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I love my rain app. Like, if I feel like. It's too quiet in my apartment because um, with the job that I have, I travel. So my child is not here all the time because um, I have to travel. And I'm home this week and next week. I'm actually working local, but I have to be working a butt crack of dawn. So my child doesn't stay home with me until like the weekend. So when she's not here, it's like absolute quiet in the house. And uh, I, I don't like the quiet. I like the dark. Like, I like to sleep in pitch black dark, but I prefer to have water sounds. I don't even, like, the TV, I'm not with it. I'm not with having the TV on Um, because that's too much light. Um, I prefer just to turn my little rain app on and listen to the water flow, the ocean. I love the ocean. When I turned 30, I went to Miami Beach for the first time, and I took a nap on the ocean. So it is. Oh, that's fun. And I loved it. Like, no, like, nobody bothered me, like. Nobody trying to come talk to me, holler at me, nothing. Like it was just so peaceful and relaxing to just lay on the beach and take a nap. And I had to get up and move a couple of times because you know the sun be shifting with my umbrella and my little, you know, my little chair. But one of the most relaxing things I've ever done is take a nap on the beach for hours, hours that's, upon hours. And that's a great part of just you know that to me that's the type of stuff I like to do. Right. I like my hammock, but I don't know about no chair. I like sitting in my hammock. It, you know them long beach chairs. I know. I like swinging. I don't know about you know. I like the. I mean, I'm gonna get there one day. I'm gonna I'm gonna grow up enough one day to. You don't like hammocks? I do like hammocks, but you know, hammocks oh, is finicky. You took a long pause. I hammocks just... is finicky. You know, if you turn the wrong way, boom, you on the ground. So. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. I just, I'm finicky when it comes to, to yeah. It's going to take me some time. I ain't there yet. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not opposed to it. They're great. Trust me. Maybe when I get my house and maybe if I have some trees close enough, I can give me a little hammock. Well, when I put the hammock up in the backyard, you know, I know it's still COVID, but you're outside. I'm going to just set it up and say, come on, send me the hammock. <laughs> I like uh, swings too, uh, porch swings. I'm, I'm from the country. You see my face, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Porch swings. <laughs> I'm from the 
country. I, I have a wine called Port Swing. I don't know about sitting in no Port Swing, okay? Girl, I love Port Swing. So, like, I remember, um, like, growing up, family members, we had Port Swings, and we just sit outside on the front porch and just be swinging and listening to the old folks. I know what you're talking about. I'm not, I like those. Yeah. I'm not joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> And uh, my um, my mom's house, she has in a uh, Radcliffe. The front, the front porch is so big, and then she got the back porch, and it's a patio back there. It's a deck back there, excuse me. And it's trees. It's just nothing but the forest. So like, we just sit out there and just listen to the birds chirp. I done fell asleep out there before, like the rain coming down. It's an overhead, so like you can just rain yeah. everywhere around you. It's just it's. Y'all, when I know how to relax now. <laughs> I know. How you know to, how to relax? I know how to relax. If I don't know how to do nothing else, I know how to relax. Y'all, I relax every day on my lunch break. <laughs> when I eat my lunch and then I take my 30 minute nap. Every day <laughs> at work. I don't got no problem relaxing. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. No, we gotta, we're going to show them how to more relaxing. Because a lot of people say they know how to relax. I know how to self care, but truly, are you really, are, yeah, are okay. you really it's the right way or the wrong? Way. Because I used to think I I was doing self care and I was relaxing, but I wasn't. I was running behind my three kids, grown kids, and I'm I was like, I ain't had no business running behind no grown people mm -mm. at all. I was supposed to be chilling. I'm an empty nester. I've been an empty nester for. Well, my son just graduated from high school, his first year in college. So really, I, I'm really a a newbie. A newbie. I just became a new empty nester. But my girls is the one. My boy I ain't got to worry about. The boy is chill. He's the chillest thing on this earth. But them girls, them things give me the run for my money. I mean, like, good Lord. I give you the boost. I love them the pieces. But them. Whew. But anyway, <laughs> I thought I was self-caring. Then I'm trying to get them self-care. I'm like showing y'all how women do. When they reach my age, they're going to figure. They're like, girl, that's what you was doing. That's what you was trying to. I'm like, it's too late for me. But what, what about you? Right. Friday. Lies. Lies they tell, right. but you ain't never too old, huh? You ain't never too old. Who me? Nah, I'm always gonna be. Who that? Who? Nah, we be seeing them memes and them videos with them old old ladies still trying to get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna be me. That's gonna be me because I'm still trying to catch my old back, trying to get my new new, trying to get that twenty five the way that. It. I, I always have my groove. Always. Me too. But you ain't got no old kids. You know, you ain't got no 27 and 24. Yeah, years. I jumped off the porch late when I come to having kids. <laughs> I'm a late bloomer. I'm a late bloomer when I'm having children. <laughs> I didn't have my daughter till so I was 29. And I'm 35. Gary be 36. She'll be seven See, thought, at the end of the day. So she's still young. But I thought I was doing something. Have them early. So I could be, you know, still young and do what I do, but nah, it's okay. I'm it's okay. Right. I'm not about that life. I was, <laughs> I was out there doing my thing. Doing oh my Lord! Thing. And then, but I'm about to be. I ain't about to be no Stella, but I'm about to be Stellar. Wait a minute. I'm not about to be no Stella because I ain't messing with nobody in their 20s. Wait a minute. <laughs> not Stella's, but Stella on what I'm doing. I'm about, right. to, be, about to get me. Can I Can I get my stature? Can I get it? Never mind. But anyway, don't, don't, don't bust it out on me. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's <it. laughs> uh, Ma'am. Ma'am, no, ma'am. <laughs> Back to self care. I am mean, <laughs> dude. That kind of like slipped out right there. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so going back to 
self care. So where do we leave off at? Um, Visual, visualize your calm is where yeah. we left off. Uh, oh see. Jesus Christ! Um, visualize your calm. Connect with nature was where we left off. Well, yeah, we talked to we talked about and it say shop for nature sounds on here. I don't shop. My app is free. <laughs> Call rain rain. It's free. Uh, I'm not gonna pay for it. No. I even got a uh, got a rain app on my fire my fire stick. Really? And got, yep, and my little screen got raindrops coming down off of it. Fire stick has that? Y'all know you know I don't even mess with the TV. You know I just I look the same for everybody in the house. I will look for a rain app on every device if I can. Excuse me, y'all. I would definitely look for a rain app on every device. I'm relaxed right now. You got me looking down. That's what I'm doing right now. Look for a rain app. Today is my Friday, so I got my little wine cooler. I'm gonna have my little wine afterwards. I didn't want to drink wine while I was talking to y'all because last time I drank wine, oh, last sweet. time I drank wine on the show, it was a little, I was a little bit extra raunchy, so I'm trying to tone that down a little bit, but um. This is not the, the risks of not relaxing enough. So, um, risks of too much stress is frequent headaches and pain throughout the body, sleeping problems such as insomnia, who that's a big one, or nightmares, um, forgetfulness and confusion, chest pains and heart problems, stress related illnesses, increase or decrease of appetite often with weight gain or weight loss, social isolation and loneliness, increased use of drugs, tobacco, and alcohol, crying spells and feelings of depression, sometimes with thoughts of suicide, loss mm. of interest in punctuality and appearance, increased irritability and overreaction to small annoyances and poor performance at work or in school. Y'all, when I tell you, as I was reading this list to you, my whole life, like my whole past life flashed before my eyes because I can think of times where I had crying spells at the club before. Like I was at the club one time and just bust out crying. Really? Yes. Um, wow. I cried one time. I was drunk, of course, but I cried because I ate all my chicken nuggets and a McDonald's down the street from my house was closed. I would cry. I was in my room and cry. Like I just was like, I was over it. Like I was I'm not crying. laughing at you, but I'm like. <laughs> Poor baby. I'm not laughing, but you I'm know how my you know, humor like, is. And I'm like, poor baby. My depression was so bad in my 20s, and I didn't even know it. I did not know I was depressed. I thought that I was just crazy. I didn't know what was wrong. But I was like, I had severe depression, anxiety, PTSD, like OCD, like insomnia, all that. So when I say every single thing on this list, I went through. But y'all look at this. Look at that skin. Y'all see that pretty brown skin? And y'all see that dimple? Look at that glow. Okay. Thank God I don't look like what I've been through, though. No? Thank the Lord for that. Thank the Lord for that. Because... No growth. Um, growth. <laughs> hey. Growth. Good grief. Like, I, as I was reading this, I literally was, like, flashing back to moments in my life where I, I had this stuff happen to me. I got mad hospital bills on my credit from stress. But at least you can talk about it and say yeah. that you've been through it and where you were, you're not there anymore. You're not stuck. Exactly. I mean, I'm a little stuck with something. <laughs> you, what you no, I'm not stuck like I was back then. I'm not, I'm not stuck. Stuck. I'm just I'm I know how to cope with life now. I know how to let things go. Are I we cope? No, no, no. Because you said a word I don't like and I don't tolerate. We ain't coping with shit. Excuse me. Excuse me, child. Cha -cha. I'm just, you know, I'm saying we we're not coping with nothing. Oh, go ahead and chuck that down because that's on that list too. We're not coping with nothing, ma'am. So
So you need to come to my we we you need to come to my couch later. No. Uh, 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 <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> yes. I better let it go. <laughs> go baby. Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me, ma'am. Because you cannot do no ma'am. I'm gonna keep talking about it until I get it out of my system. It's one of two ways we're gonna get it out your system. I can out my system. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We're going to okay. tough it out your system. How are we going to do that, y'all? We're going to tough it out your out. system because there's nothing that you can do about that. I can't even it was fight. nothing. I can't, I can't I'm fight sorry, y'all. We're going a little bit way. Y'all have nothing, no idea. She talked about it in the beginning of this show. Y'all might want to go back after this and see what she kind of like talk, touched on her little situation she got over. Uh, what is it? The wolves and the the wows and the pals. The wows and the pals. Check out her wows and her pals. It's in her wow and her pal. But I'm going to tell you this, ma'am. No, ma'am. We're not doing this. It, it's, it's, it's not there. It's not there. It ain't gonna never be there. Wasn't there from the beginning. It was a. It was an emotion. A figment of my imagination. <laughs> what you wanted for them? It was a. It was a. It was a moment. It was an excitement. I told that hurt you. My feelings. <laughs> Dude, hey. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> Damn. Baby. Where the wine at? <laughs> Cause I ain't got no dang line. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, some people pay for this information right we are here. Having a breakthrough moment right now, Jesus Christ! We didn't come on here for this, but it's part of self care. I know, cause I got to get over well, this, ma'am. I need to shake this off, y'all. I need no. To that, if you don't let it go, we're gonna go through this every day. I'm gonna call you first thing in the morning. And we talk right before you go to bed anyway. So therefore, I say it again later on the night. And I'll say it until you okay, get Okay, fine, I'm gonna let it go. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. If I hear it again, if I hear it again the next time, I'm gonna be like I Girlfriend about it because I can't talk to you about it. Talk to them. Let them pet you on your bed and be like, girl, you know, you know, it's this and that. Let them sugarcoat you for a little bit and then you come back to you because you're going to say, well, so and so said, and so and so said, and you know what I'm going to say? F so and so because the truth of the matter is, my feelings is hurt. But I'm you wanted it to be money. one way. He was in for the moment and for what it was. Yeah, okay? She, she's put me on display tonight. Uh, Shit. Hand me over to the people on a platter. A platter of sh When it's vice versa, when it's me, you do the same damn thing. Not in front of the don't. people. You, you tell the company what's going on. <laughs> You're telling the company what's going on. I don't sit here and have no breaks down either. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. I'm sorry, y'all. But you know, I made you hot. <laughs> <laughs> I need some more peppermint oil. It don't work. These hot flashes ain't no joke. Because I don't want you. Because I love you and I don't, I can't. I it can't. Happened. <laughs> How long? Do I only get seventy-two hours to grieve? Damn. <laughs> That's like one of the biggest heartbreaks of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was with my husband eleven years. That was pretty bad, and I got over that. But damn, oh, God, God. I, really I got the worst thing. headache right now. <laughs> I really love this individual with my whole heart. Guess what? Like I really did. It's okay. 
I was in love for 22 years. I hate it here, y'all. And it ended like this. I need to go break. Some I had to let someone I love for 22 years and had three kids with that just would come on now. I had to let it go yeah. and still love them. Let it go. Drop it like a bad habit. It's drops. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's drops. I can't even cry. I'm just <laughs> I can't even cry. Like I I've not cried. You can't, you just don't need to. I've not cried. You know, like some people like you need to like grieve and I've not cried at all over this situation, yo. You will. I don't think that's I don't think crying is really part of my self-care. Not really a cry. You will. I mean, I am a cry. I cry over stupid stuff though. Cause my hormones is crazy. I cry watching a movie, and you know what I'm saying. Somebody try to cry, and I'm gonna cry. But the truth of the matter is, you will. You could be driving down the street, and you're gonna think about something, and you will drop a tear. Why does everything remind me of that person though? You might drive down the street, drop a tear. That's. I think that's the part. Like I want to be able to be over it, but it just seems like it's the. They just keep coming back. They reminds me of that individual, and it's just like, really? Come on. Can I just like scoop it under the rug? Is that can that be part of my self care? Just sweep it under. No, the rug? because you're gonna go back for it. No. Okay. Well, yeah. I sweep it. I gotta sweep it out the door. Then. Cause that's just like a man scooping, sweeping something under the rug, like it doesn't even exist, but exists. And everything you sweep under the rug, you're going to have like putting this pillow up under this rug, right? You're going to have something up under there and you're going to you're going to keep putting shit up under this rug. You're going to have all kinds of stuff up under this rug. You cannot walk on this rug because you got all these lumps and bumps up under it. You're going to have to take, remove the shit to smooth it out. So you're going to have to leave it alone. Dump it. Leave it. Forget it. Delete it. Delete it. Yes, ma'am. Completely. There's no way you're going to be able to move on. That's just like those other issues. Texting. Can I come stay with you? Delete all that ass. Do all that. I don't do that. I left. I left the situation alone. Once, once the understanding came about, I left the situation alone. It's part of self care. <sighs> y'all, I am living in my truth at this moment in front of y'all. <laughs> I am living in my truth of something ending and. I'm having to get over. Y'all see, y'all can tell this is uncomfortable for me because I ain't squirm this much <laughs> on the <this> show. <laughs> I mean, I may lean and rock a little bit, but I'm I'm in my seat squirming right now because I'm in the hot seat. Baby, that's because I love you. If I didn't, I'd be I'm serious. I'd be like you said, I'm going to talk to my girlfriends. That's because you want, I'm not going to sugarcoat they, it. No, they don't sugarcoat it either, but they say it different. They say it differently than I do. Nene don't, and she get on my nerves. That's why I, sometimes I don't talk to her. <laughs> exactly. You ain't gonna talk to the people that's gonna put it out there in your face and be like, "We argue because she said I don't listen." That's my problem. I listen. I hear y'all. I hear y'all. She said I don't listen. You know I divorce people that don't listen. You can't divorce me. We are a team. We are a dynamic duo. <laughs> There's no me without you, honey. You know everybody else. You know everybody else that got divorced. But oh, I know you gonna listen because they don't mean that they don't. What you just say about that other situation earlier? You ain't got nothing for me. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no house. Yeah. You ain't got nothing. So why do you think I'm using you? 
So why do you think you need to stay in my path? That person doesn't need to be in your path. He's not in my path. You keeping him there. That's no, what I'm saying. No, I'm not. I'm trying to get over him. In That's what I'm saying. It's still in your path. If you're trying to get over something, they're in your path. They're in your pathway. It ain't been a whole week yet. <laughs> It ain't been a week, y'all, but okay. It's almost, yep, it, tomorrow will be a week. I'm just saying. Anywho, the takeaway. <laughs> that might be a universal part of life, but that doesn't mean you should let it get the best of you, which is what I'm trying not to do right now. Take charge and control of your stress by learning how to relax. So I'm going to have me another glass after this <laughs> to relax because she scratched me by this conversation in front of her. I gave myself a headache. <laughs> Reach for a simple relaxation exercise when you feel stressed and encourage a child to do the same if you notice they're feeling stressed out. I do uh, encourage my child to meditate and stuff like that. Even if you don't feel very stressed, practicing relaxation exercises daily can be a good prevention measure for keeping stress away in the first place. If relaxation exercises are not helping reduce your stress, you should seek the help of a mental health professional. They'll be able to recommend a specific treatment plan suited for your needs. And if all else fails, call 911 or the toll-free National Suicide Prevention Line, which is 1-800-273-TALK or 8255 if you're having thoughts of suicide. So I thank you all for... <laughs> This uh, episode of my sister's house where we talked about self-care, but we just had a powwow moment. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I love you, Summer. <laughs> we just had a whole powwow in front of y'all. This is how we do, though. This is us. Y'all always going to get the real, the raw, the relevant when it comes to us because I wouldn't have it any other way. So um, shout out to our sponsor, Tiffany L. She, she's my sponsor anyway. Uh, uh, Central Bliss Life. No, I'm just joking. She's the sponsor. <laughs> I need Tiffany. Out. Excuse me, Tiffany. I need you to be the official sponsor of the show. We're gonna have to hit you up later. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna tag you and uh, Melanin uh, Beauty Designs. Um, also, I um, don't have her stuff on the day. Neither one of us, but um, she's also a sponsor. Um, Hit us oh, up yeah, if you want something. a sponsor. I got myself a sponsor. Hit us up if you want to be a sponsor of my sister's house, whether it's merchandise or you want to pay for sponsorship. Um, you can find us on all social media platforms. Our Facebook is my sister's house 100. Our Instagram is my underscore sisters underscore house 100. Um, our YouTube is my sister's house. So, um, you can also call the hotline. I got you. Let me stop. It is 407-632-3627. Hey, if you feel like, you know, generous, hit us up on our cash app at my sister's house 100. You know what I'm saying? Because it costs to have these shows, you know, the equipment and the apps, and, you know what I'm saying, to look good, all that stuff. So um, now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> To all our companies, M Y S I S T E R S H O U S E Hey, hey, we're going to catch you guys next Thursday. We will be talking about, hey, like I mentioned earlier in the show, we're going to be talking about mental health. So, Please tune in next Thursday, 7 p.m., same bat station, okay? All right, see y'all. Take care. Bye. Good night.